Hey everybody, Dave Clark, AK The Pattern Guy. We're up at the pattern shop today. Uh, gonna do a real quick short one for you. It's gonna answer a question that I've been getting a lot on the comments from the new Tally Ho guys. I've been over this before. All the new guys at the channel, check out some of the old stuff that I got. Uh, it would be appreciated, that would be cool. But I'm gonna do a quick thing real quick to show you what we're doing. I've got a lot of questions about uh, shrink percentage and doing this the old school way versus you know doing the 3d printing and that so what we're doing is i don't basically for the 3d printing you do have to do it in percentages that's the way you have to do your program old school ways we do what's called measure with the ruler and i have special rulers this one right here this is a cast iron project cast iron actually is one eighth of an inch um shorter than a regular one but today i'm going to show you one i'm doing a steel pattern right now um it would have been a good one to show you guys but i'm in a hurry trying to get this thing done for the customer so i don't have time to film i'll just show you real quick on this and it'll show you basically what i'm doing with shrinkage wise and what we're doing a lot of guys are not understanding going from either the casting to a layout drawing to the layout and then getting from basically 2d which is a drawing to 3d okay and that's basically what pattern making is we take 2d and we make it physically 3d all right so first off i got a standard 12 inch ruler that's what machinists use everybody else use all right here's my shrink scale which is a quarter inch per foot so if you can see that's actually a quarter inch different okay so all the increments are just a little bit longer okay so for this steel job that's what i'm doing i'm just going to use this job all right so let me grab you i'll take you down we'll show you the drawing and the layout and where we're going okay guys so originally with this drawing i got this drawing here then you can see it. i don't know if you can see it's all taped together all right and it's real small so i can't read this barely so i took it over to staples or whatever and we came up with this drawing here all right which is the exact same thing only it's bigger for me okay so this drawing in most drawings you have at least three views a top view side view this actually is a bottom view this is what's called a section view and if you can see bb section it's like taking a saw cutting this line through and then you're looking at it this way that's this view here all right and there's a couple other sections here so from here what i do is i take this drawing and i redraw it on what's called a layout it's over here so what we do with this layout i actually put my shrinkage in here for one thing then the other thing you could see these green sections here so the casting actually only comes here but this hole has to be machined so we got to take away some of this metal in here so i have to actually add metal for the machine to take off it's called machining all right so it actually makes the hole smaller in the casing so that when they machine this they got some stock to take off and that's for numerous different reasons it's you want to have a nice you know clean surface in there but you got um this green part that's going to come out that that if there's any bad metal that'll be in there okay and then you'll have a nice clean surface down in here same thing i got some uh machine surfaces out on the outsides here too all right so this basically is going to be what the pattern looks like this is going to be the top of it and this is from a side view so what you got to do is you got to learn drawing basically and you got to learn how this is actually this tipped up here so let me get the pattern down here and i'll try to show it to you 
so one, one of the things I'm going to try to show you here is basically looking at it, the different views. It's going to be very hard for me to really do this for you. It's, you, you can, it's one of those things. you got to be there when you do it. And the other thing is, too, is like I said, you got to know drawing and you got to know the job too and it's uh it, it's a thing of repetition getting to do them this particular job i've been doing this for 40 years i really had a hard time seeing how i was going to build this job you know i've been away from pattern making for a little bit of a year minus some small jobs in here but this one took me a little bit it's got some tricky core boxes to it so um what i'm going to try to convey to you though is is uh, it would have been nicer if i would have done this as I was doing it I just didn't have time but here's what what we got here is my layout from looking down on the pattern so here here's looking down okay so you have basically uh, this is on the this circles on the drawing but you can see these outside shapes here you know on here you know this surface is you know this surface here and that i got to put a core print on here for that there uh let me go grab the core box real quick and i'll show you that it'll show you a little bit more on that okay so one of the things i did when i was making a core box for this these inside parts right here that's all hollow in there and that actually projects over to here where you got these three holes. There's like basically three holes here that conveys to these three parts here. This is gonna make a male, which is gonna make a female on the casting, all right? So when I did this, what I did was you can see, I don't know if you can see it, I got a blue line here. So in constructing my core box, engineering my core box, I basically took out where I needed to part the core box to make sure that the part's going to come out. All right, so I knew I could get past here, and then the line comes up here. I won't be able to get the sand out here, so I'm going to make my parting line on this red line right here, okay? So that way, all this stuff in here is going to pull out, and then we're going to make this part here loose so that that'll just pop off and then there'll be a chunk of sand right here and then that sand will pull out of here all right i know that's hard to understand and don't feel you know like you don't get it because it, it takes a lot to get this all right so basically this is this up here these pockets right here are these pockets in there okay I don't have the top part made yet, but that's basically what, what that's gonna look like. This round part here, that's right there. All right. And then, like I said, that can phase over to here. So I got my slots here, okay? So that's kinda, kind of hard to understand it's very confusing it would be nice if you could see this core made the mold made i'm not going to be able to do that with you one of these days we will try to uh, i have a smaller foundry myself we'll try to get down to my foundry do something similar to this where you can see the cores you know making the hollow spots and you can hopefully see the 2d going into the 3d okay but like i said don't it, it's you're not going to pick this up the first time watching a video it's going to take time after time after time after time it, it takes a little bit to learn that it took me five years to learn this trade so and i'm still learning today so anyhow that was just hopefully answered a little bit of the questions we either have a casting a drawing we lay it out on a board with our shrink with all of our um, machining that we have to put on that way we know where the pattern's supposed to be all right so hopefully that answers some questions what i'm going to do is instead of me sitting in front of the computer typing for an hour getting some uh questions answered what we're going to try to do is make a little you know a few shorts here and there and try to answer some of the questions uh on the comment section there so that's it for this one uh everybody have a good one out there and stay safe